Uh, this is a lemons race wrap up. Uh, kind of gives you as to what the end of the race is like in regards to that thing. Uh, the big thing that happened um, that was not a mechanical problem is this shenanigans. Um, a Miata decided it wanted to use my quarter panel as a stop. Uh, I don't know what the exact problem was, what his deal was. Um, I know I was coming out of a corner, coming out of, not going into, and I felt a nudge. Thankfully enough, I was on the throttle, so the car pulled itself out. It didn't... Uh, it didn't get slung sideways. Uh, this obviously escalated very quickly. My temper got the better of me. Uh, the Lemon staff came up and said, oh, okay guys, calm down. Uh, he did take note of it. The other team did get penalized. Uh, however, I get too straight in a car. Um, so the only thing that got bruised in that besides the car was my ego and the fact that I probably should have kept my mouth shut, but I was, I was rather upset. So moving on. How did the car do? Uh, it fared really well. Uh, the tires held up extremely well. Uh, they they have mostly tread left. Um, these are the ones that were on the front. You can see how bad it builds up rubber on the track because that's all what that is. Um, they did. These are only uh, 195 60 14s. They are Falcon Azinas. They do have a 200 tread wear life on them so it is uh they do wear quickly so not really surprised this is a 14 hour race total seven hours one day seven hours the next so yeah uh they're good um the car does need a transmission now uh some shenanigans happened we lost fourth gear um as you'll see as you remember in the last video but we have uh that situation is being resolved as we speak so yeah third gear synchro has checked out it no longer exists. Uh, every time, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do, third gear always grinds going in, doing Honda things. So yeah, um, the exhaust, the only thing that happened to it was this right here, it fell to, or came down and hit the exhaust. So that was good. Um, brakes have over half life left, both front and rear, which is fantastic, especially since uh, the, um, the brakes are on their, well, second race for the front, third for the rears. Um, the first set of pads we put on this car for Sebring were a Hawk DTC 70. It's supposed to be the full on race pad that was supposed to have longevity. It did not. Uh, these are the 60s. Uh, they lasted pretty good. So super excited about that. The other thing that normally happens to this vehicle, and it did not happen this time, is there is an engine mount right there. That engine mount usually breaks. This one did not this time. Why that is, I don't know. Um, I know we did go through a bit of a different driver change, so not really certain what the deal is. So pretty excited about that. Um, other than that, the car did great. Uh, it does need a VTEC solenoid as well. It was giving us kind of some shenanigans, but not nothing terrible. Uh, so yeah, it's either that or we are running 2050 VR1 racing oil in it. And so I'm not 100% certain what the deal is, um, but it, it did it to us a couple of times. Uh, we pulled the car in, checked the oil level. It was a little low. We did top it off and then it didn't seem to have the problem. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and change the solenoid anyways. They're not super expensive. Um, I noticed it is leaking a little bit of oil too. So um, that could be part of it as well. Never know. Um, so that's about going to be it for this car for a bit. Obviously Sebring, I will, uh, for Champ Car, I'll film and put up. Uh, you guys seem to like that kind of stuff. Um, some stuff, future stuff. Uh, the Corolla that uh, is the rally car is going to get built. I'm uh, calling my wife out on something she said. I wasn't going to build another car, but, um, yep, yep, go ahead, guys. Guys on the racing team make fun of me because I said, I'm like, no, I'm not building another car. Well, wife come up to me and she goes, you know, if you build a Corolla, I might actually race it. Game on. So starting next week, uh, I'm going to start building that car. I'm going to film all of it. Uh, I will put a full roll cage in it. Uh, it's supposed to, it's got to get a racing seat, a racing harness with Hans belts got to get a fire suppression system uh so all that kind of stuff i'm gonna bake that looking that's gonna actually you know i'm gonna try to make that one look nicer uh, i'm gonna try to give it a faux dash kind of a thing uh that car i'm hoping um to make it race worthy uh i'm gonna take my wife to it at the firm so she can kind of get an idea of what it's like to throw a car around uh, i will put better brakes on it change the brake fluid all that kind of all the kind of good fun stuff uh, i know the motor in that car is a little on the unhealthy side it does smoke a little bit when it's cold but we're gonna ride that out until it goes boom. Um, 
I would really like to do a V6 Camry swap, but finding a V6 Camry that isn't 10 grand is real world problems, right? I'm complaining about that. And meanwhile, South Florida, which by the way, my heart goes out to y'all, uh, Hurricane Ian destroyed uh, Fort Myers, that kind of area. So I'm really sorry to hear that for you guys. Um, so yeah, the future of the Corolla is gonna be a 100% legit race car. That's right, Corolla, race car, race car, Corolla. Going in the same sentence. So, um, from here, this is a rant and it's a rant about lemons. So if you don't want to listen end here and I apologize now, something I hate, um, civic SI is somehow an a class car. Now lemons has a B C class. A is the fastest cars. B's are the normal regular everyday cars. C is the kind of the slower stuff to give you an idea. Um, in the a class was BMWs and Mercedes, uh, in the B class, there was um, an Audi TT, a Volkswagen GTI, and then the C-Class, you're talking like an Eagle Summit. Um, there was a big block, I mean Mopar, but it was a, it was a, it was a big car. Like it was, uh, it was, it was probably twice as long as the Civic, so I can understand that. The thing I don't understand, and somebody should, I'm hoping somebody explain this. My Civic, or the Civic Si, is an A-Class car and an Audi TT Quattro is a B-Class car that has coilovers and that kind of stuff. And a Volkswagen GTI is a B-Class car. I mean, come on, man. We're talking about a Honda Civic Si, and anybody who actually knows, well, you don't even have to know. A Honda Civic Si is not that fast of a car. Um, this one had 160 horse, allegedly, when it was new. An Audi TT, depending on which one you bought, was 150 to 180, and the same with the GTIs. I don't understand it. We still did rather well. Uh, 33 out of 79 in the race. Not too shabby um, overall. Uh, in class, did 19 out of 31. Once again, not too shabby. Uh, consider we had to come in for a few problems. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's it for now. Like I said, the Corolla is going to be coming up as a build. I'm going to film that. Uh, so, that'll be pretty interesting. You guys can give an idea of what it's like to build a race car, if you will. So... Yeah, uh, I, I will gladly take any sponsors uh, that want to throw somebody in, and I will put your logo on the car. I know it's not a whole big deal, but uh, hey, speaking of which, a big thanks to them. They last minute uh, decided to sponsor the race for us. Uh, I would like to say thank you to them. Uh, you know, give them a call if you need any concrete work. So yeah, guys, take care, life's too short.